Kids love Play-Doh and besides its many motor, sensory, language and perceptual benefits, it's fun. So I'm going to share 15 ideas that you can use to guide your dough play towards learning and development. Let's start off with ripping big chunks of Play-Doh in search of age-appropriate treasures, toys, eggs, fossils. So hands are coming together on the midline and strengthening while grasping and pulling against resistance. Do lots of squishing and squashing and squeezing to make pizzas and pancakes. You can introduce tools to help flatten the dough, like trowels, shapes, blocks, spatulas. We like to squish, squash, squeeze in standing as this develops shoulder stability through weight bearing on upper limbs. Get ready for rhythmical rollers. You can use a variety of rollers such as bottles, tubes, tins to promote active wrist movement. You can roll forwards and backwards and don't forget to roll to the sides. Practice perfect pinching by making spikes, scales or bumps. Create opportunity to pinch with the thumb in opposition to many fingers as well as opportunities to use the thumb opposing only one finger. And then work towards being able to pinch a little bowl or nest. Playfully poke fingers, sticks, straws, writing utensils. Successfully match stamped patterns. What's the same and what might be different? Stamp from top to bottom, stamp from left to right, stamp borders and stamp some patterns. Beautiful Play-Doh balls are rolled by manoeuvring the hands in circles. If a child is not there yet, we might start off by pushing chunks of clay into each other to form mountains. And I encourage them to try to curve the edges so that we've got nice round mountains. What also works well is passing them a completed ball, showing them how to roll it in a circle. And then I like to sing a song and they rhythmically roll along my tune. Create opportunities to roll with two hands and with one hand. Roll on the table, in your palms and with your fingertips. Make lots of big balls, small balls and in between ones too. Sculpt super snakes by manipulating play-doh forwards and backwards on the table. You can also roll snakes in between your hands. The eyes and tactile feedback from the hands provide information on where to push and where to roll to make these snakes. Slithers can be used to make shapes and symbols. Have you tried to make your name with Play-Doh snakes? Shall we do some smart slicing? Use a variety of child-friendly knives and rolling cutters to slice pizzas and sausages. Slice from top to bottom, slice from left to right. You can even cut to make a pattern. Or you can use a knife to push off poked items. This is a wonderful bilateral activity in preparation for feeding. Rolling pancakes, strips and snakes brings hands together on the imaginary midline of the body. It also encourages coordinated manipulation with fingers. Combine tongs, tweezers and squeezers with Play-Doh to further promote hand skills. I use a variety with all our sensory trays as tonguing, tweezing and squeezing are excellent pre-writing and pre-cutting activities. A clever way to introduce cutting is snipping snakes, fringing pancakes and cutting Play-Doh strips. Use age-appropriate scissors and teach the correct method from the start. Cutters are cool for decorating, matching and combining shapes to make pictures. Improve visual motor skills by imitating combined designs. Make fabulous faces, perfect people and creative creatures. 
Start off by poking simple faces with fingers. Later, introduce tools and utensils and work towards being able to make myself, my family and maybe some imaginary animals using balls and snakes. Threading beads, pasta, Cheerios is a good way to practice fine motor skills. And copying vertical stacks according to colour or shape can also develop visual perceptual skills. Try terrific textures by matching what feels the same and discussing what feels different. Work towards eliminating visual feedback during matching. For additional multisensory experiences, you can add essential oils for smells, glitter for visual, or oats for touch. Inside our Play-Doh box is a jar with these ideas written on strips. Kids perform well if they pick a card and the excitement of what comes next motivates them. If you'd like more ideas or information regarding your most precious possession, please like, comment, share and subscribe. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching.